I gave Claude full access to my obsidian vault, my tasks, my goals, my calendar, everything. And now I have a personal assistant that actually knows about my life. Here is the example. I'm asking it that I have two hours and what can I work on? It knows about what's overdue, what's scheduled, my energy levels. This isn't generic productivity advice. This is my context working for me. And here it's all stored in my obsidian vault. This personal assistant can access it and query this Kanban board. Everyone has ChatGPT now and AI isn't special anymore. What is the real differentiator is your context. This context which you have in your obsidian vault, your notes, and this what makes this powerful. Unlike ChatGPT, which works in a browser, Cloud works uh, locally on my computer. It can read my local files. It can access my calendar, my reminders, and it can actually do things, not just chat. And your world stays on your machine. And this is not used for, it's not stored. And you're not giving company your data. You're using a tool to work with your files. You have already done the hard work of capturing your notes into your world. Your context is your superpower. Who is this for? This is for Obsidian users who have a tasks and goals, but they feel they're just sitting there and they want a system that actually helps, not just stores. You are curious about AI, but tired of generic output. Let me show how it works in practice. I have a task notes plugin, which enables me to see my tasks in my Obsidian vault in a common view. I can group them by project, by status, and have different views. I can also see them in calendar view. And now I can work directly with Claude, ask a queries about my tasks in a natural language. What are the tasks which are overdue? You can see Claude thinking it uses task notes skill. It's a skill which enables Claude to understand how to work with our Obsidian vault and with the task notes plugin. And I can ask those queries in the natural language. What do I have a schedule for today? Let's go to the calendar and see. What we have is review PR and we have it. So what about tomorrow? Now let's see Claude working and it should output all of those tasks there, which we have. Right, so it's getting there. It had like access to those eight tasks. Now that's great. With Claude, we can manage those tasks. We can schedule them. This is my today's view. Let's move on to tomorrow, December 22nd. And I have a tasks, but they are not scheduled. I want to work with Claude to schedule my task for tomorrow. Uh, let's say I want to write a blog post uh, tomorrow at 9 a.m. And I want to plan a run tomorrow at 6 p.m. Okay, so it asks me about my highest energy throughout the day. I'm a morning person. It's going to schedule the hardest tasks for me. That sounds good. Let's uh, schedule that. Now those tasks are appearing in our calendar, in our Obsidian. Now this way you can create and manage tasks in context of your Obsidian vault, in context of your projects and have a beautiful Kanban boards and visualization. Now, sometimes I want to have also reminders integrated into my workflow and something that would keep me on track when I'm away from my computer. And I build a calendar skill for Claude to schedule reminders for us. Can you please schedule reminders for those events? And I want to see them in my calendar. You can see Claude right now is working and it added reminders for us for those events. What we have is tasks, events, reminders, everything integrated in one chat in context of our notes. Now, if you are into personal knowledge management, you probably also have a goals in your obsidian world. The question is what kind of tasks moving towards our goals? Here it's all integrated. I'm asking Claude about the goals for this week, which don't have a task scheduled. Meaning if we don't have any tasks scheduled, then we don't make any progress. Let's see how can Claude find that. It understand that like using this task notes skill, it understand that, oh, here we have uh, two goals. 
which don't have tasks scheduled. Let's create a task for this week to learn Spanish today's night at 8 p.m. for an hour. Claude handles this. We should see our task appearing here. Time to refresh. Here is our task, which Claude just scheduled for us. I am not a programmer. Claude handles those complex queries for me. And that's what makes this system very simple because Claude is exceptional programmer and it can understand how to get uh, this information which I'm asking given the skill capabilities available with this uh, task notes plugin. Now let me show you a real workflow which you can reuse if you're working with clients. Let's say I have a client project and I don't remember what we were talking about and we had a call and then I can ask so let's see how Claude handles this. Now it searches across my Obsidian wall. It finds this specific file, like discovery call, and it can bring this context available in my Obsidian vault into my chat. And I can understand what were the discussion points. From there, I can do some real work. I can draft a proposal. I can prepare competitor analysis. What are the key questions do we need to address? Here, enabling part is working within your Obsidian world, with your nodes, with your context. And now in this chat, you can actually work together with Claude. Once you pick a task, Claude can also schedule it for you using Pomodoro Timer. I want to work on that for the next 25 minutes. Can you schedule Pomodoro Timer for me on that task, on drafting the proposal for the client? This is integration with it task notes. I have here Pomodoro timer. There you go. That's Pomodoro timer. Now, and Claude can start Pomodoro timer for me. Now, I also love to see some dashboards. Can you open for me a dashboard? Now, if you'll be tracking the time here using Pomodoro timer, Claude can also store uh, this information on our computer and open for us this dashboard on my previous week performance. I can see where did I spend my time using this Pomodoro timer. You can use this for your analysis, for your weekly reviews, for your reflections. Let's take a brief look on how it all works. Uh, here is a simple diagram to help you understand that when we ask Claude with those questions, Claude operating in our Obsidian World folder, it understands our intent. Then, based on the task which we asked it to accomplish, it uses the skill. The skill, it's a layer for us to, to make Claude talk to our Obsidian Vault and to our tasks. How this task not skill looks like, it's a markdown file which has a description on how to handle our requests. If we ask about tasks, deleting tasks, managing our tasks, it's going to use this skill and it's going to know how to handle all of our requests. And that serves as documentation for this, for our personal assistant. And I have many of those skills for my calendars, for my uh, YouTube channel, for my different review processes. And I'm actively building those. And then using this skill, Claude understands how to interact with our Obsidian Vault, with our tasks locally. And you just need to set it up only once and then it works forever. And if something is not clear, Claude can always explain. And if you're technical, a more detailed breakdown, you have the skill Magnum file, which has a description, then Claude loads this file into its context when we trigger it. And then it understands how to handle the requests. We have also folder with scripts to handle interaction with our Obsidian world, with our tasks. We have interaction with task notes plugin, which enables us to interact with the Kanban board, with our projects, and get access to our Obsidian Vault data. The skills are living in our Obsidian Vault in our folder, which enables to teach Claude on how to use these tools. Now, let me be honest about what it requires. It's a bit different paradigm on how you interact with your computer. It's a bit of a learning curve. Now, of course, it's not a magic. Claude can make mistakes, right? And you're always responsible for those mistakes. So you need to be very careful. You need to review the results and the output. 
and be able to teach Claude on how to make it work the way you want. So that's what happens when you give Claude full access to your Obsidian world. Tasks, goals, calendars, and reminders, everything becomes connected and all working together within your context, within your notes. Your context is your superpower, your differentiator. This is how you can use it. I have a free Discord community where we share workflows like that. We have a small group of people are curious about how to use those new emerging tools. And by the way, a Cloud Code Lab starts on January 27, when we'll build a similar system like that, everything from scratch, step by step. And you don't need to be a programmer who will work directly with me, a small group of people to figure out how to use those new tools. And in the next video, I'll show you how to use Cloud to build the dashboards and how to make your accountable for your goals. And I'll see you in the next one.